Hello. Today we are going to see how to design a full screen image slider using Vue.js. Our final output will be like like this one. Final output will have uh, two controls, left and right, and it will have the squares. This will represent the number of images uh, that are present in the slider and we can move to the corresponding image by clicking on this one so this is the last image we clicked the last uh, square so this is the first one so all the by default the image will move from right right to left okay I mean uh, towards right by default everything will bo move towards right like uh, 0 to 5 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay so the default direction is right direction if we click left the image will start moving left the slider will start moving left like if the current image is 3 then next image will be 2 one zero likewise if we click right then the slider will move towards right if the current image is three next image will be four so something like that okay so this is a very simple project we are going to build this project using Vue.js we'll we'll come across animations this uh, while while the image is changing we can see the animations right change in opacity so we are going to discuss about that so the editor we will be using here is visual studio code we will we'll set up a basic vue.js project So this doesn't matter if you want you can update so our uh, project is initialized let's install the modules The images uh, which we have to use in this project are these ones I have already downloaded. So all these images are of size uh, 920 into 1080. I chose this size because it will be suitable for uh, all monitors. So most of the systems are of uh, this resolution and it can be shrinked to so I chose this resolution. So we have five images. Our slider will be will be having five five images. So once the install if installation is done, I will include these images into our project.
our installation is done now so let's run the project this is the basic vjs template um uh, by um, to be comfortable with this uh, uh topic uh, you should learn you, you must know vjs at least the basics of vjs to understand what's going on here so i'll i'll remove the uh, basic templates I'll remove the slides. Will not have anything in the script. Will in fact remove the assets folder also. So we just have a basic VJS project, and its source has two files: main main dot JS and its uh, and its uh, including our app dot v folder and app, our app dot v folder has nothing right now. so we are going to build up from here okay so we'll create an images folder here we'll copy our five images to here okay we have imported our, the images into our project folder let's start building the slider i'll create a new folder so in in our project slider will be a separate component okay this will be the basic structure and then we'll have slides dot view okay so our app is the entry point for all the uh, the app dot view will be the entry point for all the components all the web related uh, stuff that we are going to build okay so here you can have header header footer sections sections and everything but the scope of our project uh is to build slider slider component so we are going to have just slider component here so let's let's import slider dot view as a local component so we can see our text slider here okay it's coming from uh, here our slider component and um, okay now now our app is now the uh, now all the components required for developing the slider is complete so we are going to build up on this stuff okay so slider slider dot view and slide start view we have two components slider dot view is the parent of will be the parent of slide start view so in slider dot view we'll have all the logics and in slide dot slide start view we'll have all the styles 
slides in fact slides dot view will render the image into the web browser okay by uh, going forward uh, in this video uh, we're looking at this uh, after um, at the end of the video it will become clear why why we are having these two components why we are having slider dot view as parent and why we are having slides dot view as component as child okay. we'll import slides so we are able to see slides and we can see the uh, some gap here that's because uh, the default behavior of uh, body tag okay no no it's all right and let's add id for each components okay now um, let's add the images so uh, we so the image the source the path of the image will be uh, we'll have all the data related to image in an json object we'll store it in this object in an array of json id we'll start the id from 0 and url so our image url will be root directory images image one dot jpg and we can give the title as so in our final product we can see the, this will be the title okay so we'll give the title as image one will be lightning Image two will be let's see here Batman on the roof. Image 3 will be suicide squad. Image 4, 2, 3, 4, 5. Image 5 will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Image three will be suicide squad. Image four will be flash. Was flash. Image five. Batman red. Okay. So we have five images. 
we have uh, represented the data of the images as J json object we'll see whether we are able to pass this uh, image to slide start view uh, as i said earlier we'll pass the image from image object from parent to child from slider dot view to slide start view okay we'll pass the object one by one so in this case i'm passing only batman on the roof to slide start view okay so let's pass let's we'll make use of uh, props um, to pass to communicate between parent and child okay image of Let's let's see. So as of now, our output is here. The slides. So according to our existing logic, we have uh, passed image of zero images. We have passed the first index to our child component, right? Image. So we have image here. So let's see if we are getting this object here. Image dot title. So I'm not I'm not getting. Image images of zero. Image lightning. So we are getting lightning here. So this lightning is the title that exists in index of zero. So we are able to pass the data from parent to child. Let's uh, let's see if we can render. So in the same way, we are, we are able to extract URL, right? So let's see whether we can render this uh, image in in the UI, right? So let's create a div tag. Let's set an image as background. Let's see if we can. Uh, we are able to set an image background. We have to set height. Images slash images one. So it's not. It's always important. It's always a good practice to maintain hierarchy. Slash images slash images one dot jpg. Class slides. Hey. So there may be some problems. Image1.jpg not found. So I think it's image one. Okay. So it was a naming mistake. So we can see the image getting rendered here. So now we have to uh, write our code so that we are able to 
render the image that's passed from slider red view right let's comment this code so in order to render the image passed from uh, from our parent let's make make use of computed property I personally use camel case rather than hyphenated uh, method names or CSS names because uh, if I'm using hyphenated I'll be it will be difficult to copy right I, I find it difficult so I, I, I would rather use hypha camel case so here I will return image I'll return the image that's received from from parent by making a computer you can also use methods by but I prefer so I got the image so this image is rendering from uh, rendering by using the datas received from parent element right so let's validate this one more time let's check one so you're getting bad man so this works uh, the next step is to make this to slide right so we have this output it has this graceful sliding right so first we have to uh, make this automate this and then we have to animate this right? and first we have to make this slide to shift from uh, 0 to 1 to 2 automatically so we'll make use of this uh, javascript function called set interval we'll also use vjss uh, we also will also use the lifecycle hook available in vjs to implement this functionality so let's make use of set interval. We'll trigger this for every four. So basically, set interval get is uh, something that gets triggered on regular intervals, right? So the program inside the code inside set interval will get executed for uh, in this case the code inside set interval will be executed for every four seconds so the logic that has to be inside set interval uh, will be written inside a separate function so to keep it modular to keep it uh, modular i will make uh, I'll create another method. Okay. The method name move. I'll refer this method here. So basically, another thing to notice um, Vue.js, uh, this is this object is an Vue.js object. This object will not, this Vue.js object will not be available inside uh, this callbacks. Uh, because it will the callbacks uh, will have its own this object so in order to make the Vue.js object available inside the callback we should make we should uh, use this as a proxy and uh, access this uh, move method so they, because move belongs to move is a is an Vue.js object okay so don't forget this one also, also uh, here the we, we are changing the images based on the index right so we should keep track of uh, uh, of this index uh, index so we have to declare a uh, special uh, def uh, declare a, declare another variable for this 
we'll name this test choose image have it as zero so here there is no need of proxies so we are incrementing this object uh, choose image for every four seconds right but nothing is happening this is because uh, i haven't added it here so we have to see a change in uh, in these slides choose image is zero initially choose image is zero then the this uh, then uh, move, move method will be called for uh, every four seconds right this was this is what has to happen right now but it is not happening let's see what's going on so we can see that it's uh, mo move is being triggered but uh, we have incremented it but we haven't said we have only five images it's incrementing uh, for every four seconds it's going to exceed five uh, five image uh, exceed the index right index range so at one point this is going to stop to fix this we need to introduce a condition here if so it's it's better to it's it's always good to not um, update view object frequently okay we it's better to update view object at the end of the function so in order to in order to update uh, that way we, we we can store it in a javascript object and update the javascript object so that the view object will not get updated um, before the end of the function okay so if flag is greater than if flag is greater than the image length right we have images five images if flag is greater than five we need to reset it to reset the uh, index back to zero is equal to zero so in this case we can set it to flag and then we can we can assign flag back to choose image hmm. chosen image So this is the last one and it's uh, rolling back to zero, right? Chosen image. Let's see. So our last image is uh, Batman Red. This is flash and reverse flash. Batman red and then it has to come to lightning chosen image that isn't happening I think we don't need this here
cannot read property url of undefined okay let's see what's happening flag greater than so we need we need to have greater than or equal to actually because uh, if we have uh, fourth fourth index here and it's indi incrementing the it will be 5 right so we don't have a fifth index uh, but image length is 5 right? in that case we have to use equal to so it seems to work Let, let's check it once so batman read this here and then we have superman and then we have lightning right so it, it's it's working now uh, slide is working we need uh, we need animations right so let's work on animations before that we need we need this title we need to display a title right so in order to do that we can introduce an element Right. with class slide title we can just di display the image yeah. we, we are able to see the title here we have to make it center it's remote it's always uh, good practice to follow hierarchy We are able to see uh, fonts, and um, we can we can make it center. Just use display flex property. So our text is, is in center right now. Okay. So now, now now the now we have to introduce slider to to move to transition to to introduce a graceful transition for uh, for the images. Right. In order to do that, we'll use transition group. This is uh, Vue.js element this is shipped with Vue.js so we, we need to add a name property transition group comes up uh, comes with the with few CSS classes transition means by uh, we, we can understand the meaning by its name right so we can we can add animations during transitions right now okay let me let me repeat so transition is something like movement of objects from one place to another so we are going to add animation when the object moves from one place to another in this case there are two the in this scenario there are two cases right element enters and element leaves so we are going to add animation when the element enters and when the element leaves in order to do to do that transition group has few features so transition group ships with few inbuilt classes like interactive leave active and move okay so using these three classes we can add animations when the object enters into the browser, enters into the DOM, and uh, when the object leaves the uh, browser, okay, leaves the uh, when a new object enters, when a, when an existing object leaves, we can add the uh, transition um, effects.
okay i hope this is clear tension group so name is fed so this is like a prefix for the css classes this will act as a prefix for css classes that's uh that that exist in uh, tension group okay so there is we have another attribute called mode out in refers to the movement of objects uh, movement of uh, uh, elements okay once uh, the ele existing element moves out the new element comes in okay this is what um, mode out in means so we can we can we can use div tags we can use div tag as a replacement for a tension group okay so what this does is uh, it will uh, uh, when this this component renders in dom we can see div tag here okay so in that case we need not have an additional div tag here we can remove this one so we have this tension group we can start adding animations here i will enter it you can refer view js document documentation and it has a clear explanation of uh, oi 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 it's done this way for transition uh, group we'll use animation fade enter we'll have 4 seconds no 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 we'll have 1 second because uh, animation must happen the element stays in browser for 4 seconds right after that new element a new element comes in because of the set interval right so we'll have uh, for a uh, transition for uh, for, uh, for for the object to enter we'll we'll have we'll animate the object while entering for 1 seconds and we leaving for one second so that will be a uh, so animation so the object stays in in the browser for 2 seconds without any animation right animation duration is 1 second animation iteration count is 1 will entering we will have zero from zero to one right leaving it's from one to zero we will have camel case so now we now we have added animation and it has to animate so we are getting we are, we are getting an error message here we have now added uh, the necessary keyframes animation here right so error message is transition group children must be keyed we'll add key here is that id so now you are able to see the animation here but still the animation is not proper right it has a little bit of uh, um, rendering issue so in order to fix that vue js ships with uh, ships with the uh, uh, i'm sorry a uh, transition group ships with the css class called move so we have to introduce that so this is the uh, default um, code for uh, having 
so to enable smooth transition from one object to another this is uh, recommended by uh, vue.js itself you can uh, refer the documentation for the and uh, since uh, when the element is leaving the element is taken from the normal taken away from the normal flow and it's moved right so in order to facilitate that we have to use position absolute so now you can see the smooth transition of the slides right slow so our sli our slide is complete right now so the the slider slider part is complete so we had a transition group here so this enabled us to have a smooth graceful rendering of transition of images the remaining parts are left and right image slider is over we'll have add left and right controls bottom scans and zoom effect we'll see this in our next video